you want to skin it and it is easier when it's hot too that is yeah. one benefit of doing this instead of hanging it because once it hangs the skin gets really tight on it and it's mm. harder the, the fat so it solidifies up and yeah it does actually this is pretty easy now it's coming off good and with a really sharp knife too um you know it comes off pretty good you can kind of peel it and get the membrane and you know what if you nick the meat it's not a big deal it's just appearance so like that gut hook knife i have you can stick it under that skin and it'll and you can see too like that knife underneath is so nice because when you cut this way you're cutting the hairs mm -hmm. and see how like no matter what right. you do those get on there those get everywhere. so i'm like always doing this in the moss yeah. like trying to get hair off mm -hmm. So I started here and then um, once I started peeling back, I kind of got to a point where I couldn't get more. So I started going down the leg here. So you're spreading that part open too. And yeah, wherever you end up shooting it, it some um, shots can cause a lot of damage. Just depends on how you're shot. If you hit a bone, sometimes it'll shatter and you'll just have total blood. Mm -hmm. And you just don't want any of that stuff. It'll go It'll wrong. Quick. Yeah. So just chop it off and. Mm. So good. one thing, um, there's a couple things you can do with the legs. You have this tendon here, and sometimes that's really nice for hanging it when you get back. Um, you can put a line through here and hang it somewhere in a shed or something. Um, but also what I tend to do is because I put it in a game bag and hang it instead is I'll just saw it off right here. Um, the cool thing about, I mean, I'm always shocked at how easy deer come apart. Like the joints just don't seem like they're that <laughs> yeah. stable. So, yeah. Like, yeah. so like, um, I'll show you one of these bones here. Basically you can just take a little knife, work around the bone and it yeah. pops right out. And you can do that with this too, with this joint, um, but it takes a little while, so I'm just gonna saw it. Um, and then you'll see interesting too, um, shoulders are loose. They're, really, they're not <laughs> That's the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> once, um, yeah, once you get there, that, uh, yeah, once you get around the bone, the whole thing just pops off. <laughs> Back here. So I'm going to pull this off now. So it just um, right here is where the you can kind of see it's just like a natural place to cut. Yeah, you always get a nice blood gush there. But, um, you do want to watch for bladder and obviously you got track going out in there. But again, for the most part, I know at first, I when I first started clean deer, I used to be like super meticulous and try and follow the muscle groups. And, I, and then you realize later, <laughs> you're grinding most of it. Or, yeah, you know, like, there's like, there's, no, you can take it off in as many pieces as you want to, mm -hmm. you know, just go ahead and start cutting away. And yeah, you cut off a piece on accident or whatever, that's a perfect burger piece, put it in your bag and have some a bag ready. So as you're going, you can just pop it in there. And, oh, cool. um, but yeah, watch out for the bladder and um, the feces. Um, one thing, like if you do get bladder or feces on things or you get a gut shot and you get guts on your meat, you're going to want to, um, I like to use like vinegar and water with the rag and wipe it off pretty good just to make sure that's not, you don't have the bacteria on there. Was that something you do when you get back to the house or is that something yeah, you back out? Yeah, uh, back at the house. And I'll try and wipe it off as best I can out in the field. So here we're starting to feel some bones and it's just kind of figuring, putting your hands in and feeling where the bones are and working around it. And this is cool. Look at this. There's like, I'm hitting a huge bone, but is there there's, <laughs> there's not yeah. one in the shoulder. Yeah. 
This knife is awesome. I always carry pocket knife because they're better to get in the joints. So here's the uh, ball and socket. And once you get that, you basically have this separated. Mm -hmm. That's the main piece. So you just want to work around that. And this one, you can pretend got shot. It looks like when it got hit, it's shattered a little bit. Um, so, you know, like if I was in the field and this was from my shot, um, anything you see that's bloodshot like this, I would cut off and toss. Um, not even worth carrying that stuff home. Uh -oh, so, so yeah, it just <laughs> pops off. It's not like connected. It's it's a whole shoulder blade. You can feel the bone here. It's just a big flat blade that just rides. Magic. Oh, it's magic. <laughs> then what do you like to hit next? Uh, well, then I'll do. Backstrap. Me too. So this helps too when you're on a little bit of a slope because the right, back strap gotta... is roll. So um, the spine has a ridge yeah, going down the middle. It's kind of like fish or whatever. It's got a little bit on the upper part. So you can feel and find that ridge. I guess right on the other side. It's just this ridge. So just slice right down the middle. That's kind of like playing a fish. Take this meat off too. This is just covering of the ribs. I just, you know, pull this off. It becomes more burger meat. <laughs> you probably want to take when you get home, like right. clean a bunch of this stuff off so it's not right. chewy. So you can see this section right here. That's that back strap. So yeah, you just slice along, along this way. So I just kind of like when you're getting fish and you're just riding that bone line. Yeah, as yeah, close as you can, the yeah. bone line on the opposite side. Yeah, that's not weird. And it goes way down into the hindquarters. And yeah, and it goes the and up into the base of the neck. So this is neck meat you take. And then this is... You're supposed to take the rib meat. Um, but, um, you can either just go through the ribs like this. You can just take the meat in between each rib, or you can take the bone saw and cut. But I usually do that. Last. Should you try not to cut too deep so you're not puncturing? Right. right. You yeah, you got some guts. You don't want Once you get this top part off, then you have the sternum, so you got to cut through that too. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's either you slice out each little strip in between, or you do that and you just deal with it later. That you don't want to leave. No, that is the best. And um, one thing I like to do is when I'm in the field is um, get the blood out of the heart. Mm -hmm. 
And so you're just separating the connective tissue on around it, basically taking it out of its little sac. Yeah. It's pretty big. Yeah. yeah. For for an animal this size, I've always thought the heart's rather large. So you got the. This is real quick for at home. Um, yeah, so rinse it. Then when I get home, um, mm. I like to put soak this in salt water, like a bowl of water, and add some salt for overnight. Um, I think it helps with the blood. And then I like to yeah, cut it in layers. And maybe flour it and fry it. Mm -hmm. Or and make sure you get the blood out. Garlic and onions mm -hmm. or whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> See. So the very back here is tenderloin. Oh, I just cut it. Too. Oh, you got it. So that's one of the things you can do when you roll your gut pile out. Yeah, if it was downhill. Right. So same thing. You. This one's pretty messy just because of where it was shot, but. Yeah, um, often it's not this bloody. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of the reverse of the back strap. Back here. Um, one on each side, and you can actually get them both from one side. So I do, yeah, I usually do, yeah, quarters and back strap, do the other side quarters and back strap. Then I will do ribs, tenderloins, and get in and get hard and liver last. And then I will, and then neck too. You can do that. Yeah, there's quite a bit of meat on the neck. Yeah. So make sure you go all the way up, especially on a male. Mm -hmm. All this is great burger meat, and it's kind of hard to get, but you're just filleting around yeah, a bunch of bumpy. Yeah, it's bones. weird. It's bumpy, and um, you go around, but and basically the other side's the same. The other side's the exact same thing. Um, 